You get ready for March Madness live and direct right here in San Antonio in a way like never before. Today, the mayor, along with the NCAA representatives, announced the entire NCAA Division I women's basketball tournament will be hosted in South Texas from the second round on in San Antonio for the first time. As Devin Clark explains, business owners and locals have high hopes for positive economic results. Yeah, I'm uh, really excited about it. Like our city needs a breath of fresh air. San Antonio and our surrounding communities will be the site for the 64 team NCAA Women's Basketball Championship. In groundbreaking news, San Antonio is hosting a one of a kind March Madness featuring 63 televised games and downtown business owners are thrilled by the anticipated economic impact. A little God wink about us getting our lives back to normal fellowshipping with each other, being with each other. The fellowshipping part will be drastically different this year. Right now, only players' families are allowed in the games, and officials say that the decision on whether fans will be allowed may not be reached until right before the tournament starts. Our number one priority is to provide a safe environment. NCAA players must have seven consecutive negative tests before coming to town. And they'll travel by private charter. They'll have routine tests once they arrive, and the players are required to stay in small designated groups. Even without the thousands of extra fans, the increased NCAA traffic is well received. Our staff is super excited. They can make some money. The Riverwalk has really been hit. It is very quiet down here. I think it's the best news we've heard in a year. Now, earlier today, Mayor Ron Nirenberg announced that he anticipates during the tournament more than 35,000 room nights to downtown San Antonio. Of course, a big score for a lagging hospitality industry. Reporting outside of the Alamo Dome, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.